Hey guys, it's Jack with Kapwing. You've probably seen some videos that look like this before, which uses a technique called data moshing, which is pretty much just a word for blending together different videos in a cool and glitchy way. But whenever I see these videos, the comments are always like, how do you do this? Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I have no idea how I would even begin to do this. Well, guess what? There actually is a really, really simple way to do this. All you need is an app on your phone and it will do it for you. For other methods, you might have to know like After Effects or different types of video editing softwares that take up a lot more computing power and a lot more knowledge. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to add music and take out the watermarks in our free online video editor, Kapwing, because using this free version of this app, you are not able to add any music or sound to your video. So you'll have to do that in another editing software. Okay, so first I just wanna say this is the easiest way to do data moshing. However, it is still not easy. <laughs> Before filming this video, I played around with the app for an hour or two, and it took me quite a while to figure out how this app works. I ultimately ended up with this video that I made, and as you can see, it is pretty good, I think. The pen goes into the toothbrush, which then goes into the remote, and then my wallet, and then a book. There are definitely some moments that are not perfect and are not amazing, but I think overall the effect is pretty good. So just know that on your first time making a video, it might not be perfect. This one took me quite a few tries. And also I'm gonna give you all of my tips today so that hopefully you can learn this app a bit faster than I did. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to your app store and then go to an app called Moshup. And it'll be the first one. You see it's Moshup Live Data Moshing. And then you're just going to download that. If you use an Android, I'm not sure if they have the same app, but they do definitely have other data moshing apps on Android. So just pick one of them. They're probably pretty similar. So then you're going to take a video Video with your camera by holding the little record button. I would only recommend each clip being like, I don't know, four or five seconds because with the free version of this app, you're only able to go to 30 seconds, but like the last seven seconds are honestly just the watermark at the end of the video. So you really only have like 20 to 23 seconds of true footage. Okay, so after you've recorded your video, the last frame that you recorded will remain on screen. And you will also see that what you are about to record is also on screen, but it is in like gray little hatch marks on top of the last frame of the previously shot video. This is so that you can line up the previous clip with the new clip if you want to. So for instance, when I was making my video, I lined up my face and the toothbrush with my face from the previous video and with the pen so that they seamlessly sort of moved into one another. And so it was kind of a quick and easy transition because I was already in place. Okay, so then you will record your next clip and the key here to get them seamlessly into one another is that there has to be some movement in the camera. If you keep your camera completely still, it's harder for the pixels to change up as fast. Whereas if you move your camera a little bit towards an object or away from an object or left to right or something, it forces the technology to move what was in the frame into what is in the frame more quickly. And because we have a limited amount of time in this video, we need the transition to be pretty fast. So I would definitely add some movement in your video, whether it be up and down, left or right, or moving in or out whenever you're changing clips. So then you're just going to continue on with your video. I found that using items that have similar shapes ended up making the entire thing just easier and more seamless. And also my hand was somehow involved in all of them. So I was always holding something in the video, which I think also helped because it added movement to the frame, which ultimately moved the pixels faster. Okay, so when you're all done, it is very, very important to click the save button in the bottom left corner of the screen. If you don't, it will not automatically save. And if you click the bottom right button where you go to see all of your videos, when you come back, the video will be gone. So if you don't press the save button, it does not save, it will be gone forever. So make sure you click the save button. I made that mistake a few number of times and it really annoyed me. So once you have saved, then you're going to click the box in the bottom right and it's going to open up all your videos. Then when you're under the video that you want to save to your camera roll, you're just going to click the share button, which is in the middle of the bottom bar and then click save video and it should save into your camera roll. Now, like I said, you'll notice that because you're using the free version of this app that it has no sound or music and it also has a watermark on the frame at all times at the very bottom, as well as a watermark outro at the end of the video. So I'm gonna show you how to add music and get rid of these watermarks using our free online online video editor Kapwing. Okay, hi guys. So the first thing you're gonna do is click the first link in the description and it'll take you to kapwing.com and then you will sign in using the sign in button and you can sign in with Google, Facebook or with your email. Then when you're here, you will make new content. And then what you're gonna do is drag in your footage from your Moshup app 
So I don't want this mosh up watermark, right? So what I'm going to do, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either click the video and then click the crop button, and then you can crop up right above the mosh up right here, and then click done cropping, and then it should all be fine. But if you still want it in the same aspect ratio as it is now, then you can simply just drag the clip right here and then you can see that the mashup is now gone. Also, if you do want this for TikTok, something you might want to do is just click off to here and then under canvas for output size, you're going to want to click 9 by 16. This is the aspect ratio for TikTok and for Instagram Reels. Now, something else I'm going to want to do is cut out this mashup watermark at the end. So I'm just going to go like right here once it starts to fade. And then you can go over here on the left and click the split button, or you can click the S button on your keyboard. And as you can see, it just split, and now I can delete this excess watermark. Boom. So now all the watermarks are gone, and then I just want to add sound. So what I'm going to do is go over to the audio tab on the left here. So there's a few things you can do here. You can upload a piece of audio that you have on your computer using this. You can paste in a YouTube URL here and it will take the audio into Kapwing as well. You can also record your voiceover right here, or you can go through our library of royalty free music right here. And there's a lot of songs. So what you can do is just click one of the vibes. So let's just say I want to go lo-fi, I'll click lo-fi. And then there are a, a lot of options here. You can then click the play button to hear a preview and then you can click the song and it'll automatically be put right wherever your cursor is. So obviously this is way too long, so I'm going to come to the end of this video and then I'm going to split it again using the S button or the split button over here. Delete that. And as you can see, it now has music behind it. It does look like it cuts off at a bit of a weird place. So what I can do is click on the audio layer. I can click effects and then I can click fade and then outro. And then now it will fade out nicely. So yeah, you can play around with all of that. And then when you're done, you can click the export video button up top and then the video will process. And when you are ready, you can click the download button right here and then post this video wherever you want. That's it guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators. Also join our Discord so you can keep up with other Kapwingers and the Kapwing staff. And comment down below if there's any other tutorials or things you want me to try for a video, I'm completely open and I'll see you guys in the next one.